Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you're not. Today I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks to help you guys in your venture in New World Eternum. If you guys haven't watched part 1 or 2, I'd highly recommend you guys go back and watch those. Links will be in the description down below. These tips are mainly directed towards newer players, but vets might still learn a thing or two throughout this video. First things first is archetypes, and archetypes isn't really a big deal. Don't take too much time thinking about, oh, what archetype you want to be throughout the entire game, because you can change at any moment. You just switch the weapons that you're using and that switches the class. The archetype is mainly what style you're going to start with and what two weapons you're going to start with. So mainly pick whatever archetype you think you will have the most fun with. It's nothing to overthink. So now that you're in the game, one thing you might be wondering how to do is how to claim your Twitch drops. So on Twitch, you're going to be getting rewards. And what you're going to want to do is hit the start or escape if you're on keyboard and mouse. Go up to the store icon here, click item claim, and you'll find your items in here once you've claimed them on Twitch. The next tip I can give you guys is in the attribute section. And I explained what attributes and everything does in part one of the tips and tricks series. But I realized I didn't mention that these little circles, these dots here, will actually give you buffs. So when you're selecting your attributes, take into consideration the dots and where you can put your points to get some extra damage. For example, underneath dexterity, whether you're a dex player or not, whether you can benefit from it or not, this first bubble, you can pretty much always benefit from it by getting a plus 5% critical hit chance, or in strength, we can get a plus 5% light attack damage. So don't be scared to mess around with some builds and have some fun with them. While we're on the topic about stats, there's normal stats on an item like plus 38 intelligence, but then there's a new stat called Magnify. And if we go back into the character and underneath Attribute, you'll see on the left hand side here a thing called Magnify. By default, it's set to the highest, and this means whatever you put the most stats into, Magnify will go to. They've updated this, so now you can go to this drop down menu over here. You can select what you'd want Magnify to go to. That's a little bit more of an end game, late game tip, but let's take a couple steps back. And let's go to what is Azoth. Azoth is a currency that you'll earn in Eternum. You can find it in your inventory at the bottom right corner, and it's basically used for fast travel and crafting items. You'll get Azoth for pretty much everything, and you don't have to worry about spending too much of it or really not having it. And if you ever run out, you can always buy more off the trade post. It's called Vials of Suspended Azoth, but you get it so passively that you really don't have to worry about it unless you're crafting items with it. In New World, you can purchase and own a house. There's different tier houses, and different tier houses will require different territory standing level. You can check your territory standing by opening up the map and going over to the left side, clicking territories, and this will show you all the levels of every territory. Level 10 can buy tier 1 houses, level 20 can buy tier 2 houses, and level 30 you can buy tier 3 houses. Each tier house is going to cost a different amount, and whenever you decide to sell a house, you'll get 50% of what you spent back. Owning your own house in New World is actually very important. It's not just for buying and putting in furniture. You can use your house as a recall point from anywhere on the map. Usually, you can only fast travel to a location if you're at a shrine or an outpost or a settlement, but you can recall to your house from anywhere on the map. This is extremely helpful when you're trying to run around and hand in quests and do missions. And once you use the recall to your house, you'll see that it'll have a timer and be on a cooldown. You can then use your Azoth to reset the cooldown, basically making this an unlimited fast travel point whenever you need it. Yeah, it costs some Azoth, but remember, you can get Azoth super passively in this game or even buy it off the trade post if you really need to. So never worry about resetting the house teleporter and take advantage of this. This will save you so much time throughout your adventure in New World Eternum. So not only is your house used to teleport throughout the map, but it's also used for more storage. Having more storage in New World is major. You can get more storage by placing chests down in your house, and depending on the tier of the house depends on how many chests you can have in it. Once you have chests in your house, you no longer have to go to a storage shed to access your items. You can use the chests in your house to access all of your banks. Not only can you access all of your banks from your house now, but depending on the tier of chests that you have in your house depends on how much storage you have at that location. So if you have tier 5 chests, you're going to have a lot more storage than someone who only has tier 1 or 2 chests. So investing in some good high tier chests for a lot more storage is 
definitely worth it. So houses aren't just used for more storage or recall point, they actually can be used to give you buffs as well. Every house will allow you to place trophies in them, and these trophies can give you different buffs depending on what they are. You have up to 5 trophies in your house, and you're honestly missing out on buffs if you don't fill it. Yes, I should definitely get 2 more trophies and throw them in here. My next tip would be use gear set slot as a storage device. You can access gear set slot by opening up your inventory and selecting this symbol at the bottom of your screen. This will open up your gear set slot. And you can actually store food in these slots so it doesn't take up storage in your actual bank. And there's no weight limit to this, so definitely, definitely take advantage of this. New World has transmog, but you need a thing called transmog tokens in order to be able to transmog the gear that you find throughout the world. You don't need transmog tokens for gear that you get from Twitch drops, but you need transmog tokens for gear that you find in the world. You can get transmog tokens in the shop for 2,500 marks of fortune, and this is roughly 350 if you're paying real life money. Paying real money is not the only way to get transmog tokens you can get transmog token throughout the world once per week from elite chests some people think this isn't enough but honestly it's plenty i've used transmog on some of my gear and i still have nine tokens that i have not used i'm getting more tokens than i use the next tip is for people who want to do fishing if you guys are interested in doing fishing, this is a really easy way to get a legendary fishing rod that I still use to this day. Once you reach a certain level, I think it's level 10 or something, there's going to be a quest that pops up in Monarch's Bluff, and it's going to pop up right here outside of the settlement. This is going to be the fishing quest line. This quest line is about 5 quests long, and if you do all of the quests, by the end, you'll get the legendary fishing rod. It's not hard, and the entire quest line will probably take you anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour hour if you're max level. You can start the quest line at level 10. I would recommend starting the quest line and doing it as you adventure throughout a turn. Before you start leveling up fishing or any skill or even adventuring in a turn, I would recommend checking out music. Music in New World is actually a skill. And the more that you level up music, the more buffs you'll unlock for yourself. When you perform a song, you'll get a tier rating out of 3. And this tier rating will determine on how powerful the buff is. 3 star is the max a buff can be. You can get anything from increased gathering speed at level 2, to increased luck when gathering at level 150, or even increased group XP sharing bonus at level 25. There's a bunch of buffs that you can get from music, and I would highly recommend checking it out throughout your Aeternum experience. One of the last tips I want to go over with you guys, Rune Glass is an item that you can put into your gear in the gem slot. It's technically treated as a gem. Gems, when you put them into your gear in New World, they'll give you a buff. Different gems will give you different buffs, and depending on whether it's in a weapon or a piece of armor, will determine on what the buff does. If you put the gem in a Rune Glass casing, it'll give it another buff for you. This is huge for when you have your BIS gear or the gear that you're happy with at the end game and then you can put this into your gear. I'd recommend using gem just while you're figuring out your gear and determining on what you actually want to use and then once you find it out switch to room glass and get a huge bonus. Alright guys my last tip is a niche tip and it's going to be for a little bit more of the experienced players but for the trade skill furnishing. You can use furnishing to craft instruments and crafting instruments is actually the most efficient way to level up burnishing. The only way to craft higher tier instruments is to salvage the lower tier instruments and get a thing called a trinket. This trinket is used to craft the higher tier instrument. You cannot sell these trinkets, but I would highly, highly recommend you do not drop them and you actually hold on to them until New World decides to raise its trade skills once again. If you're unaware, New World already had an expansion and it raised all of the trade skills from level 200 to 250. And if if you kept all of your trinkets, it made this leveling experience a whole lot easier. So if anyone decides to level that up, make sure you hang on to your trinket. Alright guys, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, leave it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want more tips, tricks, guides, and other gaming related content. Alright, I'm Audi. Good luck in a turn. Pa -pa -pa. Peace.